Welcome. Welcome to our first Q&A training video. I am Mac Tennyson, your instructor. These videos are a production of Homemade Elegance Productions, which means that I make them at home with my dog. Our first video is entitled The Sun Plus Network. It explains how the Sun Plus Network fits into the vision of providing a sound financial system to the Seventh-day Adventist World Church. I hope you have a good time watching these videos. Remember, if you're not having a good time, you must be doing something wrong. Welcome to the Sun Plus Network. The purpose of this video is to help you understand how the Sun Plus project fits into the General Conference Treasury's vision for the World Church. First, let's take a moment to clarify jargon. The confusion comes from the word program. I suppose you could say that the Sun Plus program of the World Church distributes the Sun Plus program. No, 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 no. Translating that, we would say the Sun Plus Department of the World Church distributes the Sun Plus software. That would be correct. However, Sun Plus is much, much more than software distribution. First off, Sun Plus is primarily a spiritual adventure. How good and how pleasant it is when brothers live together in unity. God has called us into a fellowship with His Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, and He is faithful. I appeal to you, brothers, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that all of you agree with one another, so that there be, may be no divisions among you, and that you may be perfectly united in mind and thought. Here's a tremendous quote from Ellen White. The promise, that is the promise of the success of the church, the promise is made on condition that the united prayers of God's people are offered. And in answer to those prayers, there may be expected a power greater than that which would come in answer to private prayer. The power given will be in proportionate to the unity of the members and their love for God and for one another. That is the Sun Plus legacy. I, when I was a little boy, my mother used to spank me for saying, for Christ's sake. But look at this quote from Ellen White. For Christ's sake. Why, she's worked up. For Christ's sake, as a chosen people of God, call yourself to task and inaugurate a sound financial system. Inaugurate a sound financial system. That is Sun Plus. So when she said sound financial system, she wasn't talking about software, and neither are we in Sun Plus. We're talking about a financial system that is professional people interacting together in a skillful and qualified way. The Sun Plus program is an effort on the part of the GC to institute a sound financial management system in the church. While the software is important, the skills and the quality and professionalism of those working in it are of much greater importance. The denomination is addressing this by establishing the Sun Plus Network. It is an effort to develop a network of treasury professionals working together to fulfill our prophet's admonition. Here's our mission statement. Let's look at it for just a minute in detail. Sun Plus is a mission-driven denominational network providing and continuously improving a globally applicable sound financial management system. First off, it is mission-driven. We are very serious about taking our mission serious of uh, taking ourselves serious about serving the church and worshiping by every act of the Sun Plus network, worshiping in a spirit of unity. Secondly, it is a denominational network. It is not a hierarchy or some program from on high, but is instead an interlinked group of professionals working together, each bringing their unique skills to the table of service to the World Church. It is continuously improving. We, uh, had, are not, we have not kidded ourselves into thinking that we have a fantastic system. It is flawed and has many weaknesses. But we have a pretty good system that we as a network are working together to make it great. The, the network is also providing a globally applicable 
sound financial management system. By globally applicable, we mean two things. First, it works in every nook and cranny of the world. That's our goal, and every nook and cranny of the world with all the diverse countries and their own accounting regulations and their languages. But it, we also mean that it works globally with the various types of organizations the church operates. That is, a large and small conferences and unions and large and small hospitals and schools and publishing houses, media centers, insurance companies, retirement funds, revolving funds, and the list goes on and on. And finally, the network is trying to deliver a sound financial management system. This includes growing accounting professionals, proper processing of transactions, software aimed at the broader spectrum of what financial management means. I should point out that this is a lot broader than just producing financial statements. If our only goal was to produce good financial statements, we could use much simpler software. But our goal is much broader than that. Here is a, a picture I've, I've drawn, pulled together, trying to depict this network. It has uh, no particular top or bottom as far as hierarchy is concerned. Uh, a net, it's just people working together, elements working together, and each element bringing their gifts to the table of the whole. At the, at the first of the list, and they're presented more in a logical sense than in importance, sense of important level of importance, but the first is the company from which we buy, from whom we buy the software, uh, Infor. Infor is the third largest business software company in the world and 10th largest software company in the world. This is a giant office with 125, a giant, giant company with 125 offices in 34 countries. They claim 75% of the top 100 corporations in the world as their clients. In a sense, they're just too big. Fortunately, we only have to deal with one division, and that is Sun Systems. They only provide, their only product is the software that we are using. The official name of the software we're using is Sun Systems FMS. That is the name of the software, and they used, is widely used around the world. So when you putting together your resume, you want to make sure that you list your expertise in Sun Systems FMS and not Sun Plus because outside of the church no one's ever heard of Sun Plus, but Sun Systems FMS is the broad name of the software. Now we have taken that software and configured it to meet the church's needs and we have baptized it with a new name which we call Sun Plus. The company right now has 120,000 user licenses in which we make up a respectable portion of 3,000. So roughly 5% of their user license is our denomination. This picture here shows a sample of their customers. I'm very pleased to see uh, PricewaterhouseCoopers on there, a company that distributes software uh, choosing to use the software. And I like Starbucks. Uh, you can look and find your favorite hotel or bank. But what's most interesting to us is the not-for-profits that are using it. In particular, uh, what come to mind is Save the Children, Habitat for Humanity, and World Vision. So we're in good company. Now back to the network. Uh, the division leadership has given us strong support uh, for each of the divisions that are using SunPlus. They have bought in with uh, enthusiasm. Uh, in fact, Elder Filiberto, the treasurer of Inter-American Division, says the degree in which you embrace SunPlus in your organization is the degree in which you will advance in denominational treasury work. And he was, of course, speaking to the Inter-American Division leader, uh, treasury leadership. One important element of the network is the SunPlus support centers. We have four support centers around the world. Philippines and Ghana provide English support. Venezuela provides Spanish support. And Rwanda provides French support. Also spread amongst those four offices are various levels of expertise. The most important thing you could take away from this video is on this slide right now. This is how to reach support. My favorite way is with SunPlus support on Skype. Uh, just contact them through the chat uh, function on, on Skype and get a conversation going and they can help you. 
Also an important thing to understand is that they are there to help both with IT problems, Sun accounting system software problems with the application, but also remember they're there to help with accounting questions, how to follow the accounting manual and give guidance on that. The next element of our, our network is the Sun Plus training department. Here they are providing uh, as fast as they can soft accounting and software training materials. For example, um, they have a good document on fixed asset accounting in the church that really has nothing to do with software. Uh, we in the Sun Plus office in the General Conference are, are, are intent on producing high quality training materials as fast as we can. Uh, Sun Plus consultants, this is, these are non-Adventists who are willing to well, the, some of them are Adventists, but they are, they are non-church employees who are willing to help in this area. Uh, just to illustrate that, is there's a slide of that company, DHL, which is another Sun, uh, Sun FMS, Sun Accounting FMS user. The Sun Plus GC, that's our team here at the General Conference, are made up of these uh, seven people. Uh, Carl Friday, who does our configuration. Danny, who is in charge of rolling out implementations. Jerson is our support specialist. Jan Shaw providing training materials. Josh, IT. And uh, we have a, a payroll solution that we're introducing. Gerardo is responsible for that. And then I am the Q&A training uh, person. The next one, on our next uh, element of our network is the GCAS Sun Plus trained auditors. It was interesting when the uh, when I was a member of the General Conference Executive Committee and they brought the Sun Plus project to the Executive Committee for approval. Uh, I was the first one to the microphone to speak against it. So it's, it shows that you have to sometimes eat your words. But the next one to the microphone was Eric Korf, the director of the Sun Plus uh, I mean, excuse me, director of GCAS at the time, and he talked about how important and how nice it would be if there were consistent software for that the auditors were encounter encountering. The And so we're pleased to have them as part of our network and their interaction and, and guidance that they give us. And last, but certainly not least, in fact, it is um, by far the most important part of the network, is the Sun Plus end user. They make they are what make the whole concept tick. It is thrilling to see Emilio, an accountant in central Mexico, traveling to an, another Mexican union to cover for an illness. It is also thrilling to see Jonathan shift over to Azure to fill a need there and immediately be up to speed on the network, on the system. And, and a group of accountants from one division traveling to another to conduct training and accountants all around the world preparing training materials that are useful to other places in the world. The Sun Plus user and the interchanging of Sun Plus users around the world and different organizations is what it is all about. It is interesting to see them working, to see workers moving from tithe-based organizations over to help at the college and from colleges to help at the hospitals and vice versa. This is the power of having a network of accounting professionals who are all singing from the same song sheet. Give a little bit of statistics. We at this moment have 2,100 users uh, to not get you confused. The 3,000 is the number of user licenses that we currently hold. Uh, 2,100 are the active users in the church now. And right now it's uh, 520 organizations and we're adding about 130 new organizations each year. This is the network working together to build a sound financial system. Now for an overview of the accounting software. The accounting software Sun FMS, Sun Systems FMS, is the half that the accountants are using day to day in and day out to get information into the system and Q&A is the half that is designed for getting information out. It comes in two user interfaces or two flavors, Q&A Executive and Q&A Excel. In general, if you can do one, you can do the other. In different contexts, they are each important. 
And so this training seminar is focusing on getting information out, which is the thing out of the system, which is the thing that accountant treasurers and and auditors are in, most interested in. So thank you for watching. If you're interested in learning more about Q&A, please watch the next video. It is crudely named Adventist Accountants Playing Cards. It explains the very powerful way Sun System analyzes transactions in something we refer to as dimensional accounting. Understanding dimensional, dimensional accounting is the heart of what we are doing in Q&A.